Hello everybody, uh, Rubber Mold Man here, going to show you a quick paint finish of a uh, aged bronze or patina finish. Uh, and just to let you know, this is more of a stylized version of a patina finish. Uh, there are more realistic versions, however, this is the uh, patina finish that we used at our business uh, because it was easy to do and most importantly, it sold better than any other patina finish we ever tried. Uh, so I'll show you this one because it's really easy to do. Uh, before I start, don't forget, if you want information about me, just look down under this video in the uh, details, and it'll have my email, my website, if, in case you're uh, looking for molds where you can make statues like this. Uh, it'll have the Facebook page where you can find me. Uh, lots of good tips there about making statues and painting it. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to show you this quick finish. Now, the Statue, first of all, already has the black base coat. I have other videos explaining about the black base coat. This is latex paint that I uh, did on this mermaid statue. Concrete painted with latex black paint. Exterior grade, don't forget that, it has to be exterior. Now what we're going to do is take some green paint, and I use a fairly bright green here, kind of a forest green. Now you can dull it down, add a little black to it, or get a or green. I like it a little brighter. Now you just kind of go over, hit the highlights of the statue here. Don't have to get real uh, detailed with it. Just kind of hit the highlights here and there. And for the sake of time, I'm probably not going to do the back of the statue on this video. I'm just going to kind of show the front of it. But um, then as the paint starts to dissipate off the brush, you can kind of brush it on in the smoother areas where... And this, uh, the green here, you don't have to be real careful with it. You want some of that black to show through. The green is just going to look kind of splotchy here and there. This is literally one of the easiest finishes you can do because it's really hard to mess it up. And if by chance you do a spot on it where you put way too much green, uh, just go back over it with black and uh, let that dry and then you can uh, go over it again. It's no big deal. So I'm just going to stop there with the green for now. Like I said, I'm not doing the whole statue because I'm trying to keep the video fairly short. But uh, let's just pretend the entire statue now, front and back, has this green uh, coat on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some metallic latex paint. Now this is kind of a coppery, goldish mix. Uh, you can use different colors. Silver. Not a good choice for these type finishes. I don't like using silver paint at all, really. It just doesn't look good on concrete. Not, not unless you're trying to do like a um, oh, metallic, like gunmetal finish, but usually most people don't like their statuary like that. Um, but this, you need very little of. So we're gonna, and as you see, I'm just using the same brush. I don't care if some of the green gets in there. We're gonna wipe most of that off. And then what we do is we just kinda real lightly just hit some of the highlights here on the statue, letting some of that metallic paint. Now keep in mind, metallic paint such as this, this goldish, copperish look, it will fade after a few weeks in the sun. It's going to kind of darken down, not be as bright. So it's okay to go a little brighter initially, knowing that it's going to fade down in the sun after a few weeks. Now if it's going to be an indoor statue, you know, keep that in mind. But uh, metallics, paint-wise, paint, paint -wise, they do not uh, stay as bright in the sun as a lot of other colors. So, But you see there how we're already getting that nice kind of uh, patina finish. And like I said, not ex exactly a realistic patina finish, but boy, is this the one that our customers over the years seem to prefer. It's a little brighter, a little flashier, I guess you could say. Obviously, natural patina, the green is uh, a little lighter color. You'll have more of uh, kind of a copper tint to the metallic paint. But uh, we've tried them all, and for whatever reason, this is the one that easily was the top. And that's basically it. Like you see there, I'm just kind of dabbing the gold, letting the green, letting the black show through. And it is done as far as that type of finish. Now I can go over it with a bit of a clear coat sealer. Just a spray enamel would be fine, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have that. Just a quick little thing here. Since this side is already just the black, if you want to try something different, you can actually skip the green and just do straight uh, gold or copper over the black for a different finish. Uh, we used to do quite a bit of this. Now that getting a little light there, I'm gonna get some more here, kind of darken it up. But that gives you a completely different look, 
but doing the same thing with the same colors here, just skipping the green and going straight to the metallic over that. And then, of course, if you want, you can even mix it up again, put some green over that, and it just kind of changes it up a little, it gives you a different uh, effect in that. I personally like putting the green first, then the metallic finish, but uh, uh, this gives it a slightly different look. So it's really up to you what you like, and more importantly, what your customers like. But that's really it. As you see, a super easy finish. Anybody can do it. Looks great on almost any type of statuary, especially elegant looking things like this mermaid. Again, uh, my website, information, email, Facebook, all in the details under this video. Check it out if you want to get a hold of me. Uh, this is my first video for 2019, so I want to make sure all my info is up to date. Uh, subscribe, keep up to date. I'll have more tips coming soon, and I appreciate you guys watching. Bye-bye.